What's up guys, welcome back to Nuts and Bolts Auto. And today I'm gonna to be working on my F-150 because as you guys just saw right now, this thing got pulled up by the car wash. And this right here happened just because it pulled the arm up and uh, this thing has some splines down here at the bottom that the arm is actually pressed into. And by my understanding, this type of arm has a little key that's right there that's supposed to also stop it from turning but I'm pretty sure it's broken. This arm has also been an issue in the past because it never really wiped the windshield as it should. And I kind of figured it might be because of this spring in the back. A lot of the times you'll notice that when these springs start losing tension, it starts leaving streaks as it's cleaning. But in my case, since it just got pulled over, I'm pretty sure the whole issue was down here with the splines to begin with. So in today's video, I'm just gonna be showing you how to replace the windshield wiper arm. That would be this entire piece right here, not the windshield wiper. Now to get started, I need to remove the broken wiper arm right here. And you'll see down here that it's got a little, a little lever. And this thing right here, you just grab it and pull it out. And then at the same time, you're gonna grab the arm and pull it this way. So right now with the flathead screwdriver, and stick it under here, pull back on the lock and, and pull the arm out. If you are gonna be lifting up the windshield wiper arm to remove it, make sure not to remove the windshield wiper. And this is so if for any reason it were to snap back, that it'll have that and it won't be able to hit your car with the metal. So it won't break your windshield. So when looking right here, this, this part right here is where the key is gonna go onto. And then right here you can see that there's a key that's supposed to be there. In my case it was missing. So I'm pretty sure it just broke off and fell off. And since this thing is isn't on there really by pressure, like you'll notice on a lot of cars. They'll have a bolt up here on top, and that's because the splines are tapered, so the arm gets pushed inside of there. But these ones here don't have that, so it relies on that key to stay in place. And without it, it allows the whole arm to move around, and that'll eventually come over here, and it'll start wearing down the splines, as you can see right there. They're pretty much gone. All right, so right back here on the splines, you can see that there's a bunch of this aluminum stuff all around. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean these up with a pick. Now I'm just gonna go around each one of these little splines if there's anything big stuck inside there, just to clean it up a little bit. Okay, so this one right here already went all the way around and it's pretty clean. It's pretty easy because the metal from the wiper arm is soft and that's always gonna shear before messing up the splines right here on the gear. So this right here is the replacement part and there's a part number. So here's the parts side by side, and it's the same length. Everything is exactly the same, which is what you wanna see. And here's the key that's on the new one that is, of course, missing from the old one. Now, a lot of the times when you're looking at your wiper arm, like I said, maybe you wanna change it out because of the spring right here. It starts losing tension over time, and it stops wiping correctly. In my case, it was because this key had fallen off and then allowed the wiper arm to spin inside there. A lot of the time, this lock too, will come off and they'll fall off. Or I've seen these right here break, actually right here you can see. This lock right here gets loose from these rivets and as you can see right there, it allows play. So that's another reason why this wiper arm might fall off. So right here I already removed the driver's side, but just to show you over here, before you remove the arm, if yours doesn't have a key like mine do, then you might wanna put a strip of tape up here just so you know the position of the wiper arm because if you don't, and you put the splines over a tooth, the wiper arm might be up here or maybe down here, but you want it right where it's gonna be so you can mark it with some masking tape. So there you go, just like that. Now when you remove the wiper arm, you'll be able to put it right back where it goes and you won't have any problems. So right now before installing the new one onto the truck, you would wanna get your wiper blade, take it out of there and put it on to here. For the same reasons that when you're messing on around with this one and putting this one on, you don't want that snapping against your windshield and breaking it. So I'm gonna put the new wiper blade into the wiper arm, pop it up in there. I'm gonna fold it back and then pull the lock out right here. I'm gonna pull it back and then just stick this key into the slot on the gear. So right here I'm holding the lock open with one hand and then I'm gonna put the key where it's supposed to go and then just push it forward and this thing should be able to snap down. And then now you could just let down the wiper arm slowly and you're good to go. So this is what I was talking about on, on another car about some that have bolts on there. If you take off that cap right there, you'll see right there that it's got a stud and a, and a nut right there. And then these ones here, 
the, the nut itself is pushing down against the splines and the splines are tapered. So sometimes even with these ones, if it's very corroded, you might need to stick a puller on here to be able to pull it out. But in my case, with my truck, it was pretty easy. It just had that little lock. So there you go, guys. We've got another simple fix done on the truck. I hope this helped you out. And remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those other goodies. Thank you.